Now to a victory for female athletes. The House passing the Protection of Women and Girls in Sports Act, which would prevent biological males who identify as female from competing in women's sports with zero votes from Democrats. Listen. Not a single Democrat today wants to support women in women's sports. In complete violation to Title IX that was created by Congress over 50 years ago to provide a level playing field for women. Tara Danfee and Lear Keith are self-described radical feminists who support this bill. Both of them join me now. Ladies, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Well, thanks for having me on. Of course. Anytime. So, uh, Kara, I want to go to you first. You think this bill is just common sense. So tell us why you supported it. So I'm the president of Women's Declaration International's USA chapter, and we're very happy to support this bill. It's a very clean, clear, common sense bill to first clarify that sex means sex under Title IX, and second, keep men out of women's and girls' sports. And that's a crucial component of what we support, which is advancing the Declaration on Women's Sex-Based Rights throughout U.S. law and policy. And then California Democrat Mark Takano says this bill harms trans kids. Leah, we're going to listen to this, and then I want to get your take on the other side. This mere debate has traumatized trans kids and their families across the country. 85% of transgender and non-binary youth say that the debates around anti-trans bills have negatively impacted their mental health. Leah, your, your thoughts on what you just heard? Women have a right to a word for ourselves, and that word is woman, and men can't have it. The moment you grant them the word woman, they then get our sports, and our spaces, and our prisons, and our battered women's shelters, and our health care, and our everything. So they can't have it. Uh, this is not an anti-trans bill. It's a pro-girl bill. It's a bill that says, what everybody knew until five minutes ago, we know that men and women have different physical capacities. And for there to be any fairness for girls, we have to keep boys out of women's sports. So with that being said, do you think by this bill passing, it's going to kind of move it forward for more protections for these not just female athletes, but really women in general? Well, that's the hope. Right, if we can start to make some progress on asserting common sense and women's rights, that we can roll back some of the horrors that have happened around this country. And I mean, you know, putting rapists in women's prisons, which has happened here in California. Mm. And then, Kara, let's talk about fairness with this. Um, when it comes to not just young girls, but women in general, a lot of them are really afraid to speak up when it comes to this uh, female sports issue. So you have the microphone here. What would you say to them for these, these young women and women in general who are, are just scared to say anything because of what's going to happen and the pushback they're going to get? Yeah, thanks. Two things. One thing I just want to say is that every single human being on the face of the planet, all 8 billion of us, are either female or male. There's no other category of human being because we're a sexually dimorphic species. And it's okay to say that. I just, I want viewers to understand. It's okay to say that every single one of us is either female or male. And to female athletes, I understand. I get it. It's scary to speak out. I have spoken out. Lier has spoken out. And we have faced repercussions for doing that. I understand why it's terrifying. And I just want to say to female athletes, do it anyway. You know, speak out. Say, I do not want to compete with or against male athletes. I do not want men in my locker room. I do not want to have to take off a bathing suit or a track suit with men in my presence. Mm -hmm. uh, it should be fine for women and girls to be able to say this. You know, we have indecent exposure laws for a reason. Women and girls should not be subjected to having to disrobe in front of men and should not be subjected to having to see male bodies in their locker rooms. And it should be fine to say that. We, you know, we're coming off six years now of the Me Too movement and that mattered. And women, speak out. Please just speak out. Yep, I couldn't agree more. Women need to speak up and speak out to protect their rights. Kara Dansky and Lear Keith, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you.